Okay, let's do this turkey thing. First of all, we're gonna start out with the turkey bag. Always a nice thing to have. I'm gonna reach over here in the freezer, grab some flour, and come over here and put it in the turkey bag. It gets everything all nice and ready to go. If I can find the opening, we'll get moving here. Not that side. Why do they make these things so hard to open? I don't think they really want you to put the turkey in them. Now we just mess them up, I guess. Somewhere there's a hole, probably on the end, and I'm looking on the wrong end. There it is, right there. All right. Open the turkey bag. Put the flour in. Sprinkle it generously. And a little more, okay. A little bit more, that's good. That should cover it. Now, I'm not going to use a lot of seasonings on this turkey because people kind of, you know, it's kind of a weird thing, but I don't throw a lot of stuff in it. So, I'm going to throw some lemon pepper in there. That's always a good thing. I like lemon pepper. Everybody likes lemon pepper around here. That's a big thing, especially on the skin. All right, now, a little bit of pepper, just for the heck of it. Throw some pepper in there. Not that one, that's the big one. Hit the holes. A bit of that in there. All right, let me see what else I got over here in the cabinet. Do I got any? No, 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 no. Well, I ain't got none. here. Next we're going to get the turkey out of the thing over here. That's that way. I'm pretty sure I can see what I'm doing now. We're in the same big can here. We're going to put that on the counter. And we're going to put the turkey in the sink. Put it open. Get it out of the bag. All right, that judge is gone. Rip that loose. All right. Rid of all the nasty stuff, turn on the water, rinse it out, reach in there and find all that good stuff they hide inside the turkey. There's neck. So I'm gonna find on this end. I'm gonna go down here to this other end where the neck was. We're reaching that little hole there. I'm gonna grab out all the giblets, that little bag. People forget that bag in there sometimes. She ends up going away with the turkey bones. I remember it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that turkey out. I'm gonna drain it. I'm gonna lay it in the drainer over here. Get some paper towels and dab it down dry. It's best to dry the turkey off. Don't ever leave them all soaking wet like that. Not good. All right, give me a little bit of a drying down. Patting it down. Now, going back over here, and we're gonna put it in the bag. Head first, so you got the feet to deal with down here. All right, I like to leave some air in the bag and I shake it all around, covering with all that flour. The whole bag covered in flour. Always remember to take those feet apart too. That'll be a cut right there. All right, like I said, always remember to take those feet apart because they're stuck in a piece of skin that comes off the backside. Got the feet all spread out, got flour all over it. Okay, we're gonna steal that bag. 
I need my glasses to see that. There we go. Put the turkey in the roasting pan. All right, all ready to go. I didn't put the I didn't put the dressing inside because I was told that they don't like it like that, so I'm not gonna take it that way. I usually do. Okay, we're gonna set the oven already for 350 degrees. It is also already heated up, so it's ready to go. I'm gonna pull the turkey out of here. I'm gonna get it ready. And we're gonna stick it in there. We're gonna note the time is 10:18. Call it 10:20. And now we're gonna let it go for about four hours, three and a half, four hours. It ought to be ready to go. We're gonna be working on some other things in between. Um, we're gonna do some mashed potatoes today. We're gonna do some dressing. We're gonna do a little bit of um. Oh yeah, I have to make my um. um cheese filled celery stalks i love those and we will do some deviled eggs that's wendy's thing to make but she's not here so i will be making it all right see y'all in a minute all right we're gonna go ahead and start out with the celery stalks because that's the easiest thing to do first i'm not gonna put it in the ice box it'll stay cold and it'll be fine once it's filled with the cheese whiz all right here we go Get the potatoes all done. We're gonna get them all up watered up and ready to go boil. We're gonna turn the heat on over here. Let's we'll turn the back one on there. Full glass. Somewhere's in there. Got the eggs are already boiling, which we were working on. Alright. So okay, we've got the potatoes and the eggs on. Here we go. Ready to get the next thing started. We'll let all that cook for a while, then we'll come back in. We're gonna take a little break right now. Okay, our eggs are now boiled and peeled and ready to go. We're gonna start cutting them in and make our little mix with the mayonnaise and uh, mustard that's sitting over there in the little bowl. And then we'll show you really fast how to cut them all up and put it all together. Okay, I got the eggs all ready to go. I think you just saw them. We'll show them to you again. Deviled eggs, a la me. We will see how they go over. Okay, the potatoes are boiled and drained. We're gonna mash them up, put some butter in there with them, get them all nice and good. And we'll see how that comes out. I'm gonna do it really quick. Something's happening. Mashed potatoes are done now. Everything is in the beauty, I believe. I hope they look good to you. 
All right, well, you just saw us cut the turkey up there. It's all nice in a little pile down here. Me and Cooper are sitting here looking at it. Look at that. Gonna be really nice dinner. We're heating everything else up right now. And in a minute, I'll show you everything spread out on the counter and what we've done all day to get this meal together for Thanksgiving. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. This is Thanksgiving dinner uh, 2017. My gosh, it's really up there now. Here's what we got. There's the whole spread. There's the number one thing. There's the turkey. Kind of looks like a turkey still laying there. Then we got some mashed potatoes over here. And of course, you gotta have your deviled eggs. Got the celery with the cheese on it. Some dressing, and I'm not real proud of, but it's okay. The gravy with the giblets in it. It's kind of a weird gravy. It's not really a giblet gravy. And Tina's scrump is looking for pecan. Uh, Pumpkin pie, can't say the word, pumpkin pie. There's old folk, there's Cooper. There's Penny and Tina. They're pretty loaded already, so we're not No, gonna... that's not true. I'm just kidding. And of course, there's me. Here we go. We're ready to eat, man. 